Hello booktube, my name is Amelia and welcome to my channel. So I'm very, very excited to be joining the booktube community. I've been watching booktube for a couple of years now and I've always wanted to start a channel but haven't really got around to gaining the confidence for it and a bunch of other stuff but this year I've decided is the year that I'm going to start it and we'll see where it goes. So I thought it'd be really fun to start out with doing the newbie booktube tag created by Between Chapters. I will link down the original video below. Basically I'm just going to be answering some simple questions so that you guys can get to know me. First question is where are you coming to us from? So I was born and raised in California, but currently I am living in Georgia. Second question, how old are you? I am 22 years old and will be 23 in July. Question number three, why are you joining booktube? So I've been watching booktubers for a couple years now and it just always seemed like a lot of fun, but I just never gained the confidence to do it. But this year I decided would be the year that I would start my booktube channel. On top of that, I think it would be a great way to push me as a reader to keep encouraging me to read more because I sometimes get in major slumps that last for way too long. Question number four, what is the meaning behind your channel name? Well, because I am a very small person in real life. <laughs> That's basically it. What types of books do you want to read slash talk about on your channel? I'm really expecting to discuss all types of books on my channel. It really depends on my mood. So one week I am interested in reading a biography of someone and then the next I'll be in a high fantasy and then the next I'll be in a contemporary romance. Question number six, who are your favorite authors? If I had to pick my favorite authors of the moment right now, my top would probably be C.S. Lewis because The Chronicles of Narnia is very, very close to my heart. Um, J.M. Barry because Peter Pan is also very close to my heart. J.K. Rowling because Harry Potter is... Oh, and recently Anthony Doerr. What's the last book you read? The last book I read, unfortunately, is not with me right now because I am loaning it to my father. But that book is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. The book takes place in World War II and follows two perspectives. One is of a blind girl living in France with her father, and the other is of a German orphan boy who ends up in Hitler Youth. All the Light We Cannot See basically tore my heart out and threw it to the floor and smashed it into a million tiny pieces and I don't think it'll ever be the same again. It is honestly so gorgeous and so moving and I honestly believe that it should be a classic that is taught in schools because you just learn so much about the war, about the Nazi occupation and just so many things in that book. If you're watching right now, you should go read that book. I'm serious. It's gorgeous. Number eight, what are you currently reading? I am currently reading The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. If you haven't heard about this book, let me tell you all about it. So The Wrath and the Dawn is a retelling of A Thousand One Nights, which is a tale of a king who every single day takes a new wife, but then in the next morning the wife has been killed and every version of it has a different reason as to why this happens. In this version we follow a woman named Shirzad and her best friend was one of the most recent wives to be killed so she decides to take matters in her own hands and sets out to kill the king. So she volunteers to be the next bride but she quickly finds out that not everything is what it seems and things are a lot more complicated. I am really enjoying it. I plan on finishing it tonight because I only have about a hundred pages left. What's even better is I know there's a sequel coming later this year, so I am more inclined to finish this book so then I can go pick up the sequel. I haven't even finished the book yet and I'm looking forward to the sequel already. <laughs> Next question, what do I use for bookmarks? Honestly, I use pretty much anything and everything for bookmarks. 
but I do have a couple favorites and they're these luggage tag-esque ones that are just gorgeous to look at. I love the artwork on them and a lot of them have literary references which I appreciate. Like there's our Alice in Wonderland Cheshire Cat. And then I have some other ones with some nice little floral nature artwork on them that are always lying around my house so I just stole a couple. But yeah, honestly I will use anything from ticket stubs to a sticky note. I am not in any way picky. <laughs> what does my current TBR pile look like? I don't really have a specific TBR pile. However, this year I am taking part in the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge. And for that, I have created a little TBR jar, which is based off of the regular TBR jar in which you put names of books that you want to read in and then you draw it and that's how you determine what you're going to read next. In this case, what's written on the sticky notes are the categories in the challenge. So if I am indecisive, as I usually am, about which category I want to tackle next, I'm just going to draw from this little jar right here. What form of books do you prefer? So I love hardcover books. Hardcover books just feel better in my hands when I'm reading them. I definitely prefer physical books in general compared to ebooks. I love the convenience of ebooks because you can bring many books with you. There's something about just physically having the book in your hand and turning the pages and just exploring the pages and just breathing it all in. <laughs> I just love that feeling of connecting physically with the story. Additionally, I love buying books and collecting books. I think this all stems from the fact that both of my parents are writers. Our walls in our home are basically made out of bookshelves. So I was just always surrounded by books and I love the image of being able to look at a bookshelf and seeing all the adventures I've gone on or all the adventures that I'm about to go on. I do love owning books, but there are some books that I just know right off the bat. I'm not going to want to own it, but I'm still curious about it, so that's when I'll buy an ebook. What book or series got you into reading? So this is a complicated question for me because I can't think of a specific book or series that really got me into reading because I, like I said, my parents are writers, so I was always surrounded by books. My mom read to me a lot when I was a kid. However, on that note, I think the series that has most left an impression on me would be The Chronicles of Narnia. I loved The Chronicles of Narnia before Harry Potter even entered the picture in my life. Of course, I adore Harry Potter, but Chronicles of Narnia was my first true love. So yeah, I can't really say that there is a specific book or book series that really got me into reading because my parents really enforced reading into my life. Not purposefully, they didn't like shove it down my throat, but it was it was there, it was present. But if I had to choose, it would probably be Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I mean, it had such an effect on me that I was always opening every single door I could in whatever new house I was in to see if it led to Narnia. How did you discover booktube? Honestly, I don't remember specifically. You know, I think I was watching a book trailer or something like that on Facebook and then just kind of got trapped in the black hole that is YouTube and just eventually found the booktube community through that. I just basically went down the YouTube rabbit hole at some point in time and found it. What challenges do you think you'll face with your own channel? Honestly, I think my biggest challenge will be time because my job requires many many work hours and I'm usually so tired when I get home that I don't want to do anything but I do have the weekend so hopefully I can manage my time well so that I can regularly update videos. I do want to keep this channel updated like I said I want to keep pushing myself because I think it will greatly benefit me in the end. Finally, where else can you find me? I am on Instagram under the same username, the littlest biblio, and I'm also on Goodreads, which is linked through my Instagram, but I will link it down below, as well as my Instagram. I'll link everything you need to know below. So thus ends the newbie booktuber tag. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I hope you guys learned some more about me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and or subscribe. I would love to know who out there is watching. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time. Bye!